We definitely were drugged in an airport. Oh. I can smell my own body odor because I'm sweating so bad. And I'm gonna have a panic attack. A band like AJR. Oh god, never mind. Never mind. I'll show you later. I they, was homeschooled. I never had to new. listen to any. They're new. Oh, I'm. I'm still emotionally homeschooled. <laughs> <laughs> Accidentally a Midwesterner. You're a Midwesterner. You say, oh, literally <laughs> the <laughs> armpit of the entire country. <laughs> Side note, this is... <laughs> Get over it. You want to poop or not? <laughs> Buckle up, folks. It's going to be a long one. Welcome to Under the Sun Podcast. I'm Ilea. And I'm Irene. Grab a cup of coffee and your comfiest sweats and join us every Monday as two best friends discuss everything from raising free-range gremlins to business and really everything under the sun. Let's get started and thanks for being here. Two things before we get started, everybody. What things? Yes. <laughs> we have your broken two flies. It's really broken. Because, because I rage it. I'm like, <laughs> I and like it's oh it's crooked. <laughs> so uh that's the two things. We have two it, flies. And they keep flying across the monitor, so you're Yeah. Um if it happens in the podcast, I'm gonna smack the shit out of it. I'm sorry I for my language, but with all of my being that one lands on the lens and we don't see it and it's just there. It's just, I'm like hoping that happens so I badly. Can't, I can't right now because <laughs> I shouldn't be wearing this hoodie because this room is very hot right now. We have the lights and I have a hot coffee and a hoodie. And like, I'm like this far from a panic attack. Carry on. (laughs) So here's my old lady thing. I wake up. I have one hot coffee in the morning and it helps my poops go real nice. And then in the afternoon, I have an iced raw milk latte. Must be nice. What do you mean must be nice? To wake up and just have coffee and poop every day. Are you taking your magnesium citrate? Because I bet that way. I am. It does what everything does. It works for a little bit and then just kaputs. Then up your ante. Up it. <laughs> Not up it. But like <laughs> I mean, Five like, minutes in it. Up, Here we go. I, mean, I can smell my own body odor because I'm sweating so bad. And I'm going to have a panic attack. <laughs> Remember, when, <gasps> Remember when your husband said, yell as loud as you think you can yell? And I was like, we're not going to yell this loud. Whoopsie. Kind of. I'm going to be like an old lady having a fan, like a hot plant. Yes. It's the hot coffee, guys, in the hoodie. I just wanted to wear Michael Scott. It says, I'm not superstitious. I'm a little stitious, mm-hmm. which I really love. Yes. Okay. We were talking. You were saying. We talked about a lot of things. <laughs> before we <laughs> but hit But the cameras rolled, were not working. Dave said, uh, crap, what oh. was the story? What were you okay. talking about? Question for you listeners. If you have headphones. Oh, my gosh. Do you pay attention to the left and right? Because I do. And earlier, my cord was in front and Ilea made me move it, even though it's a black cord on a black shirt. What does it matter if but, it's left or right? Well, whoops, there's Mike. Because the sound is just different. And also, sorry for my face. The sound is different. I know there's like old 90s, like the skatery songs, 2000s ones, where like you'd hear a sound like a slowly, but it would be like off on the left hand distant sound and it would kind of like come in. And then, like, drums would kick it on and kick in on this side and, like, swerve in. And it just ruins the effect if it's not the song, coming in at you. The ya. songwriter, two things. The songwriter in me, musician, hates to admit that I have total sound blindness. Like, I That's only so care about lyrics. It could be an acoustic guitar and, ju- and all I care about is the lyrics and the melody. And I, don't I care. will be, like, jamming out in a song that I've heard 10,000 times. And I'm like, I wonder what the words are. Oh, not a great song. Still going to listen, but... Okay, like it's so much to the point where like we were driving in Dave's Toyota. This is what he told me to wait on. And he kept <laughs> like we were like rolling. He kept saying like, do you hear that? And he'd be like, shh. <laughs> that was my dog. <laughs> Nashville. Um, and be, you, hear, you hear that? And then he'd like, he'd let off the gas. And he'd be like, you hear that little. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about? He's like, no, you hear it. And then like he kept doing it. I'm like, people are behind us. I'm like, what are you? No, I can't hear it. Say, like, how can you not hear it? Are you lying with me? T, are you messing with me? I'm like, no, I don't hear it. Yeah. So I think I either am a little deaf from all okay. the touring, yeah. maybe, or I just like that's not a part of my brain because I just don't, I don't really care. Like I, when we used to record, and like all the guys, it's very beautiful tri- uh, gifts that they have to like yeah. add these beautiful detail mm-hmm. and finesse. And I can tell when it's there when like the volume turns up. I'm like mm-hmm. oh now that's suddenly louder. I hear it interesting i never cared i was like i don't know what you should put here unless yeah. it's like a, a 
the limit like hey like i want this part staccato or something yeah i don't know okay so a, a, a band like ajr then okay no Never mind. I'll show you later. I they, was homeschooled. I never had to new. listen to it. They're new. Oh, I'm I'm still emotionally homeschooled. <laughs> <laughs> I don't um, really listen. They do their songs by like they'll be on like oh, there's one song. They posted a lot of YouTube videos on like how they got the sounds for their songs. It's a lot of little sounds. I love it because I like a lot of little sounds. And it, they're someone who it's like you'll hear this in this year and you'll hear something else in this year and it like just kind of works. But they were on the um subway in new york and the voice that comes on that's like next stop whatever whatever they're like that's that's good so they had one song where they had like dings in it so they would just everyone's going would just be like a ding and you would just randomly hear it throughout the song and then another song where they would put that metro guy's voice in saying a word and it's just like lots of little sounds and then they'll come in and it's like well, what if we put a and then they just add it in the song but not everywhere. So it's like sometimes you'll hear this and sometimes you'll hear this. And if you're not left and right, you're going to miss the whole vibe. <clears throat> but right I also I have take right, my... right here I have left. It it doesn't change the experience but for I'll me. But also like with the kids headphones, I'm like, well, oh, let me see which one's left, which one's right. And they have like cheap plastic poppy ones, which I can't. I die. If I can find a picture of the back of her head. Nova has these headphones with like a little princess poppy pink poof sticking out what is princess poppy um from trolls like a little troll oh, pink okay. hair and it just like sticks straight up and it like kills me it's so cute because she'll just be there watching her little ipad on the train and all you see this little pink thing bobbling along but yeah, i will make sure their left and right is correct this is not what we're talking not about today all. this is not what we have <laughs> written in our notes um uh, what are we talking about today irene we're talking about how we have not sat across from the table in a long time like over a month including so part of the reason was we had a whole camera kerfuffle earlier today <sighs> part of it was i did not tell my husband that i was doing a podcast and un- today until last night and mm-hmm. so he has half the gear and the other part was he said he's not used to us having two cameras because for so long we've been doing interviews we haven't needed needed two it so yeah. it wasn't in his brain to make sure we had both yeah but um yeah this is the first time it's just us in a long time yeah because like we may have posted but we yeah so what we did is yeah. and maybe you guys noticed maybe you don't but what we did is in was that may because you you were i remember june. Gone. It was june oh i know no, i was gone, I June. Was gone oh the whole gosh. month of june so like in may we batch recorded a bunch of content yeah which was awesome if you're a planner and you actually post it and edit it in advance instead of you being me and waiting until Sunday night to post it, which we'll come back to that. Um, but you were gone the whole month of June and I didn't bug you. I didn't want to bug you because I knew you were having family time and like old friend time. How dare you? <laughs> it's fine. Um, but I had this podcast idea and we're not doing it today because like I had made notes in my phone of like, hey, here's all the things I was going to text Irene mm-hmm. when she was on vacation, you but I didn't want to bug her. Me. I could have, but then I lost maybe, the note but... and I don't know where it went. I don't know. But we're just going to do a recap of what has basically happened because we haven't seen each other. Yeah. We've seen each other, but we haven't done a podcast and updated y'all lately yeah. on what happened, what's been happening in the summer. Yeah. Do you want to go first? Or do you want me to go first? Yeah. So I'll go. We were um, gone for three weeks in June. Um, we took the train from Illinois to New Mexico, where my parents are from. And that was really, it was cool. That's where so, you're from, too. Well, yes, I'm from, too. But I've been here long enough. I'm accidentally a Midwesterner. you a Midwesterner. <laughs> you say, oh, literally you, <laughs> the you armpit in- of the entire country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But... Um, we took the train because we're a family of four and my youngest is three, so over two. And if you don't have, or if your babies are still babies or you don't have kids, two years old is when you have to buy an official plane ticket. Even if you tell them my two year old is going to sit on my lap the whole time, they don't care. Two and up, you're like a full $600 adult ticket. So if we go see my parents, we drive, which is a long drive. The shortest we've ever made it since having kids is 27 hours. Oh my god! And that's with us sleeping in a parking lot for a couple hours. We like each pulled a kid out of the car seat and just like leaned back and slept. But that was before anyone was potty trained. So mm. that meant if they peed, you can leave them a little bit and it's fine. Yeah. Now that I have two potty trained kids, we would have stopped every 30 minutes, um, which we would have done because it's it, each flight, it was going to be just under $600 per person. Oh, geez. Yeah, and it's no a, way. It, we would have had to have flown American, so no free bags. So it's that plus, plus bags. bags. I was doing hair and makeup for the wedding, so I couldn't just take my Who's clothes. Who's wedding? My brother got married. 
um, I had to take like an entire suitcase of just my bridal kit. Um, but anyways, I found out that there's a train that goes directly from um, Illinois to New Mexico. It was $411 total, one way for all four of us. Yep. And each person gets two free checked bags, a carry-on, and a personal item. I could have taken eight suitcases. I was in heaven. Yeah. Um, but we got a one-way because we've never taken the train and we've never taken the train with our kids. <clears throat> so we got a one-way. And if the experience was absolutely awful, we would have just rented a car back. Um, the train there was great we loved it i packed um watercolors there's this little like flippable watercolor kit that's travel you like you put water in the pen oh yeah Mm -hmm. um and my daughter loves it and i like it because it's it's watercolor so if she gets it all over the table the train's not gonna like find me i just wiped it off with water Mm -hmm. and it was great and then we bought my son his first lego kit and so that kept him occupied the entire train ride it was so fun um the train back was if the train back would have been our train there, we would have for sure rented a car back. But that, that was, yeah. So I take the train at your own risk. Mm-hmm. We never per se felt unsafe. It was just a different crowd of people and a different crowd of workers. Are you in search of tinctures for adults, teens, and kids? We have the brand for you. It is BioRay. They have the whole spectrum of parasites, liver, gut, sex drive, everything. They have everything you need in tincture form and it's gentle and it's safe for your kids and your family. So you should buy it. Yeah. Check out bioarray.com. Use code UTSP10 for 10% off your orders. Their website is super helpful. If you have any questions, their uh, customer service is one of the best. Mm -hmm. You can message them on anything. Like I had a dropper clog and I just wanted to make sure like, hey, is this clogged or am I growing like a bacteria that is going to be harmful or whatever? They were super helpful. I sent pictures and um, they yeah, their response is amazing. So you can also go and fill out this like questionnaire thing on their website and they will help direct you into what kind of supplements you need. Yeah, because it's really hard to determine. Like you need to, it's hard to like observe your own body and be like, yeah. is it, what do I actually need? And they'll like ask leading questions so that they can help guide you to what's what you really need. So yeah, yeah. bioarray.com code UTSP10. I can't say we'll do it again, but I can't say we'll never do it again. And they don't allow you to carry a firearm. They do not. Yeah. So that's something to consider. I mean, you can't on an airplane either. Yeah, you but can check it in your checked luggage, yeah. like a TSA thing, but you can't carry it on your body. On the way there, the train was full of like Mennonite families. So that's weird. Well, why was it full? The only reason I know they were Mennonite versus Amish um, is that I Googled it and Mennonites can use old tech. So trains, one family had like a little Garmin popped up in the window so she could see on the map where we were. Um, and they had like old Nokia phones, which was just interesting. Um, otherwise I would have just assumed Amish, but they had some tech. Some of them had headphones. Um, but again, families, want to be an aunt, lots like of a toddlers, Mennonite. lots of, lots of babies. Mm-hmm. So that was like a family friendly train experience. Mm-hmm. The train ride home was a bunch of individual and couples going from LA to Chicago. So a different crowd, but again, not a huge deal other than like the conversations were different. So like it was like a connecting flight or connecting train. Or so just like- the train the train route goes from LA to Chicago and oh, back just okay. back and forth. So this crowd was taking like I it's not Lollapalooza time, but like the Lollapalooza crowd was yeah. going this way. Um so not maybe as family friendly. Um, conversation wise, mm-hmm. smoke break wise, like they do, they do smoke break like every other hour or something. Where the train stops a little bit longer in this station, and you can hop out, and they'll say like, "Hey, the train stop. Do not get off the train at this stop. We will leave without you." Like whatever. And then the next stop would be like, "Okay, we're gonna be here for fifteen minutes, so make sure you stay close to the train." But like, you can get off, stretch your legs, smoke, whatever. But on the way home... Stop smoking, people. I know. I don't understand how people in this era are still effing smoking. Well, I don't either. But it was not... Cig- it was cigarettes. But like... Remember as how I soon told Dave everyone- we weren't going to yell? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> as soon as everyone came back from the smoke break, the entire cabin smelled of weed for oh, like yeah. 30 minutes, which I don't care what you do with your life. I just don't want to smell it in an enclosed space with no open windows of my children. I'd rather people smoke but, weed than, than get popcorn along with those vapes. That's true. But either way, I just don't want to smell anything on a train. Oh, <laughs> I don't think we told you this. The table is echoey. Um, there was a man sitting in front of me. So it was the windows and to then... To the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, that was great. <laughs> Sorry. And then what? the kids, and then we were on the aisle, so we could kind of like barricade them in, and they could play and like, yeah. use our legs as a boundary. But the man in front of me was clipping his fingernails. Oh no! And they're flying all over the train. And my husband was making the face that Aaliyah made, but actually, I like, have some vomit like right yeah, here. So did he? Mentioned it to the guy, and this guy's like in his seventies, like he's an older man. So and he should so know better. He can't hear. So Jacob was like, excuse me, can you please stop? What? He's like, can you please stop? That's gross. And he's like, well, I'm just cutting my nails. He's like, yeah, it's gross. And it was like, they're, they're older nails, so they're thicker. So he's clipping them and they're flying. And he goes, well, what's so gross about it? And he goes, well, they're flying all over the place. And mind you, like, my kid is sitting on the floor playing with Legos on the ground. And... um. He's like, well, what's so gross about it? Because they're flying everywhere. And he goes, well, what do you want me to do? And they're yelling because this man cannot hear. <laughs> it's so funny. And he didn't think it was funny, so I couldn't laugh. But I think I actually had to put my head down because I was laughing so hard. And he goes, well, I expect you to pick him up. And then later, he like, he did. We should have an episode on travel etiquette. Yes. Oh, yeah. But it was just really funny because they were like both kind of yelling because he couldn't hear. And it was just interesting. <laughs> and Jacob's probably also like holding back the mama. He's like, he could you please stop? <laughs> stop yeah (gasps) also because he reacts so strongly to things like fingernails and stuff my sister was clipping her nails before the wedding all the girls were having a nail party we're sitting at the kitchen this is off topic but whatever we're sitting at the table like filing our nails and painting them and the wedding starts the next day or whatever rehearsal starts the next day and so my sister's getting them off the table like putting them on a plate so she can throw them away because they have like a plastic tablecloth so it can be sanitized so she's putting all of her nails on this plate as she goes. And I'm then like nauseous. Can we stop talking <laughs> about nails? Jake walks through the kitchen and she hands him the plate of nails. Oh. And he picked it up because he didn't know what it was. <laughs> it was the greatest. Did he freak out? Yeah, he freaked out. He was so mad. It was, And I was, again, laughing because I'm a terrible wife. But That's not a terrible I wife. I thought it was hilarious. I could puke right now. But it's like, one of those, like, why do people always do this to me? I'm like, because you react so strongly. If you would have just said, ew, gross, and walked away. No one would have done anything. It's like, because you lost it. And it's funny. Why are you clipping your, your nails at the kitchen table? Like, I don't care Family if it's plastic. Nail day. Why didn't she just clip it onto the paper plate to start with? Why well, did she the did. table she, have like, to would, be... The plate was there, and she would, like, clip it, and she was making sure, like, if it flew on the table, she would put it there. But she was clipping them over a paper plate. I, I quit. Also... I quit. <laughs> Stop talking about nails. I also spent the early years of my career doing pedicures for a living. Oh so, God. like, it, nothing phases me. Literally, probably nothing. If you were me. like, hey, Leah, we're going to put you in prison, I'd be like, all right, I'll figure it out. I'll read a lot of books, whatever. Yeah. The real torture would be like, Leah, you have to work in a nail salon. You have to do people's pedicures. And I would, like, that would be my hell. That is so funny. I would rather go back because I used to work in a nursing home. I would rather wipe people's asses than touch I would their feet. Never. Side note, this is. <laughs> Wow. These are the things we would tell each other. It's going to be a long one. My favorite thing about working in the nursing home, like years and years ago, like I remember playing my first arena show and then going working third shift at, uh, but like the only thing I loved about it, and I still like have these memories, they're all probably dead by now. That's dark. (laughs) (laughs) Is that you had taught me how to braid like really well. And Mm -hmm. so I would have like before my shift ended, because I was third shift, you'd have to get ready get the sit like the what do they even call them citizens That's citizens funny. they like <clears throat> what do they call them i don't guess I can't whatever think they of are it, yeah. i can't it's another word i can't think of it you get them ready for their day because they go off to breakfast or whatever yeah. and the women who had long hair would come and wait at the Aww, nurse's station and i would braid sweet. all their hair so like some of them would ask for like a rope around their pet Aww. bear and they're like like i was the and they would be like so proud because like, i was so popular last tuesday when Aww, you did it that and it was sweet. such a you know like a, that's how I can kind of relate to like yeah. probably the dopamine hit you get because yeah. my braids are not as good as Irene's and they were just yeah. like in hindsight they probably weren't that good. They but, were probably but they, great. But it made them feel really good and that yeah. was probably the best part about Yeah. I mean, well this has nothing to do with anything ever and it yeah, doesn't matter. That's but. okay. Anyways. I, older toenails do gross me out though if that makes you feel better. At that point know, I'm like just go <gasps> see a podiatrist. I can't help do you. Do you know like the texture of your nails and like how much white you have, like mm-hmm. your nails and toenails tell you a lot about your health. We should do yeah. a whole episode on that and find somebody to talk about it. Okay. Because um, 
I like after Leo developed ridges on my nails, <clears throat> Interesting. like vertical lines on my nails. And then on my toenails, I have horizontal lines. Interesting. Like, look, ignore the like. Oh, grime. yeah. It's just interesting. I wonder why. Um, I have um, why well, need to do my nails. And so it looks like they're grimy, but that's just hair color stain from mm-hmm. a scalp scratch. You have the nicest shaped nail beds. This is not Thanks. content that people came for. But <laughs> uh, also like the, the little white part. On your nails, if you have no white part, like little half moon, mm-hmm. it, that all indicates your iodine levels. So if your pinky has none, that's where it starts. It goes pinky. I have zero iodine. On any of your nails? Well, I have some in my thumb. Okay. Then, like, I actually your thumb, can't tell because they're kind of stained. Okay. Your thumb is the last. It's like, hey, I have no iodine in my body. I have no iodine in my body. I have some in my fridge. I have some in my house too. Oh, damn it, Irene. <laughs> I don't absorb though. How do you know that? You keep saying that. And if you keep saying that in your brain, you're going to tell your body that you don't absorb nutrients. Well, I keep you gotta, saying like, today's the day I wake up and have coffee, cough, coffee and poop and that doesn't work either. Is it hot coffee? I've tried it all. Wait, what is, I've heard it both ways. I've tried it both ways. Hot coffee and straight, cold. Drink it fast. That sounds horrible. Get over it. You want to poop or not? <laughs> Just carry try on. Carry on with your iodine. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, that was not on the topic. Yes. Okay, should we get back to the yes, list? Yes, we should. Guys. It's been a while since we talked, so this yeah. is a lot of word vomit. And it's like getting late. She's I'm sweaty. overheated, so okay. it's going to get real fast. I'm so smelly. Post Leo, I am a smelly girl. I need to mm. fix all of it. But anyways, okay. This is mm. not on my list, but <laughs> next week I am starting. But it is an update. Next week I'm going to start taking prenatals again. Okay. Because I took them solidly for years for like hair growth and nail mm-hmm. growth prior to even thinking about having kids. And so by the time I had my son, I had years of stores and then I was nursing and then nursing and pregnant at the same time. So I definitely kept going, like made sure I kept going. Then I had my daughter and I made it like three months and I still nursed her to two, but I was like, I'll take it when I remember. And that was the last time. So if we have another kid, this kid's getting like the bare bones of any of my supplements. So I'm going to do that selfishly for my hair because I want it to be like a lot longer by Christmas and then. Have the added benefit of must be nice boosting my stores. Wow, this is all, this is all very rambly. But on that note, m- that's number four for me for my summer life update. Mm-hmm. Is that I'm prepping my body now for baby number two, but it'll be like in the next six months because we were gonna do it in the fall. Honestly, like <laughs> when you, no, I'm not gonna do it in the fall. <laughs> Just once. Once Just a quarter. One time. <laughs> Once Just per to quarter. continue practicality, everybody. <laughs> uh, no, we we're gonna do it. We're, gosh darn it! We we're going to plan to conceive yeah. in the fall, but we have like a lot of businesses going on right now that mm-hmm. are like kind of like working in the background that we're all trying to build. And I yeah. know like kids don't derail, but if I'm super sick, then Dave's gonna have to step up even more with Leo. Were you super sick? It was like six weeks where I was basically on the couch. I don't know how I didn't get fired. You lucky duck. What? <laughs> huh? Six weeks? Yeah. Uh, from six to ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So five weeks. But um, so that's my update of like probably whatever it is, we're not doing it to <laughs> if we conceive like last time where like I know my cycle super, super well. I'm Are tracking you monitoring? It. Yeah, I'm tracking monitoring. It, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, if I'm tracking it like like before we we were lucky and i prepped my body and got pregnant on the first try yeah if that happens again like we want to kind of control when the birthday is which is terrible yeah um but also like happy whenever it happens but also like his family has a whole bunch of birthdays in august Mm -hmm. and then june for like may june for our family is a lot yeah and like i'm kind of just like annoyed by it i cared a lot more with kids one and two really kind of And like I was, I'm just the only thing I've ever consistently said is I don't want a Christmas baby. Mm -hmm. But then like, come this year, the beginning of it, I don't care. Like my need for a baby, want and like desire, I'll say for a baby is so strong. I'm like, even if it came on Christmas Day, what do I? And I would care later. Yeah. But like when the hormones kick in, it's like I wouldn't care. But yeah, I would care. Yeah. But I also don't care. I also, on a side note to that one, sent. Right, this podcast Jacob, should be called Side Note. Shannon posting pictures of cute puppies for three hundred and fifty dollars, like oh. golden retriever. Mm-hmm. I took a screenshot and I was like, three hundred and fifty. That's so great. And I sent it to him. And as soon as I hit send, I was like, what am I doing? I don't want a dog. Just give mm. me a baby. Didn't work, but that's the podcast we're going to do next. Yes. 
<laughs> Let's get offended, people. Um, what else? What else was on your list? On my list. Oh, I'm demolding my body. Excellent. Working what does on that it. look like? I am taking some demolding supplements that Dr. Noah recommended. If you haven't listened to that episode, it was, so it was a couple weeks ago. Dr. Noah Leibowitz. You can just search. Yeah. Our, like under the sub podcast, Noah. Yeah. It'll come up. It was so great. Um, so I'm working on demolding myself, but I think that might have to be, I need to ask if we get to the point where if we do get pregnant sometime in the fall, like what you can and can't do. Are you guys planning I think, for fall? Because I want to be pregnant at the same time, but I also can't. I could. It'd be fine. Um, it's, I need to see what's safe for a baby. Cause I know on the bottles, everything's like consult your, like my prenatal said, consult your physician if you're <laughs> pregnant or nursing. But these ones specifically say contraindicated if you're pregnant or nursing or have high blood What's pressure. It means like, like don't, you shouldn't do it. It's oh. con- it contradicts whatever you're doing. Okay. But I think the mold for me is going to be an ongoing thing because I just can't seem to like get rid of it. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, we can't feasibly realistically build a house from scratch like we want to. Mm-hmm. Um, and the washer and dryer where I work um, is full of mold. So I know I will like, throw my towels in and hold my breath, but then I'm still like pulling those towels out. They're touching my skin and putting them in the dryer. Um, I don't think the dryer is killing off all the mold. So I'm then taking them and folding them. And so I'm kind of stuck, but yeah. I need to see what is safe to you can reduce, go with the yeah. mold. Yeah. Um, anyways, a lot of, a lot of new things I'm learning. Now we'll keep you on updated mold. Yeah. on how that goes. We'll do maybe yeah. like a health update at some point. Yeah. My health update is that I'm done nursing. Woo-hoo! That yeah. happened in June. My daughter turned two and then, Honestly, like, it just happened super quick where, yeah. like, I could just identify. I, I made a whole video on my personal YouTube channel about, like, how I gently weaned her. Mm-hmm. And, like, she just, like, seemed, it, like, it, I could I could tell that she would just didn't need me anymore to go yeah. to sleep. And it's been awesome. Let me tell you, as someone who has done every single bedtime yeah, for the last two years, it is really nice to, uh, for Dave to share the arrows on that because, yeah. <laughs> Uh, now he gets, he's like, man, it's really hard to like get up and go on after like trying to like, yeah. like being in a dark room. Like, like you just cool... end up, the amount of times I end up just falling asleep. So it's oh. like, I don't care to get up anymore. Go yeah. out of bed. Mm-hmm. And he's like, man, it's really hard to like get back up. I'm like, welcome yeah. to my life. He's like, you said you were going to edit a podcast last night. I'm like, yeah, I had to put a baby down and <laughs> yeah. she got me and made me fall yeah. asleep. So that's my exciting news. And it's, it's like. I feel like I didn't appreciate it enough when it happened yeah. for you. Because like, you don't know no, you don't know until you do it. Because like, I was still in the season, I think, when you stopped weaning. Mm-hmm. I was like freshly nursing. I was like, it's so, it is wonderful. It is so, I enjoyed it so yeah. much. Once they get a little older. When she hit like yeah. 18, 19 months, that's when like my instinct and body was like, Ugh. interesting. Like it was like, a, it was like a light switch. Yeah. Was, like I can give or take. Yeah, like I feel like you're. I didn't get that feeling until my daughter. So my second born, I didn't get that feeling until she was a couple weeks old with my first born, who was then two. And it, oh, like I was fine throughout an entire pregnancy. Like I still was fine. Mm. And then as soon as she was born, I would like I I never understood that. I cannot imagine having that like. I forget what it's called, but that like where you, the baby latches and you get like a weird repulsed feeling. Oh, hmm. And I know a couple of people that actually have had that were like, like, no, the baby latches and subconsciously, you know, this is the best thing for them. But you're like, huh, like you mm. kind of gag. I didn't get that until he was older. But I think that was my body's way of saying, like, you cannot sustain two lives and run a business. So one of these things has to. Yeah. And he was two. And, was and he goal. was two. And I made it to two. Yeah. But Jacob likes to remind me that he weaned both of our kids, which is true. He's like, you would still be nursing to this day if it was easier to put them to bed. It's like, you're darn it's straight. A, it's a Here's hard... Here's a boob. Go back to bed, please. It's... That became a crutch for sure because I was like, that was my like, my trump card of like... Yeah. Oh, you're sad? Boob. Yep. You want... Mm-hmm. You know, you can't didn't get what you want? Boob. Like, yeah. you, want, you need to go to bed? Boob. Like, yep. it was always boobs. Yep. And I mean, that clip could be taken out of context. Yep. But probably I mean, accurate. But have you used a boob to get what you want? Heck yeah. So there you go. It can work in all contexts. Yeah. <laughs> so that that was hard. Like, I was like, I don't know how I'm going to put her to bed. Because that's like how she associated me with bedtime. Yeah. Was like nursing. Mm-hmm. And she just, I don't know. Yeah. Gently did it. It was great. So Good. that's it. That's my. Did you tell him about going to the water park, though, and trying to wash off the chlorine this week? Oh, yeah. So like she, 
you know, when you recently weaned a kid, it's just now August 1st when we're recording this. So I just weaned her in June. Um, wow, it's already kind of been a long time. That feels a long time. Yeah. But, uh, she, I, I hide my boobs. So like if I <clears throat> change into pajamas or get yeah. ready for the day, I like hide it because I don't want to like remind her or like I don't say the, you know, the word that she calls, yeah. like called nursing. But we were rinsing off the chlorine after we went to the water park with Jake and Irene. And I just like hopped in with her because she doesn't usually take a shower. Yeah. And so I didn't want to make it weird for her. So like mm-hmm. we were just both in there naked and I was like rinsing her off. And then she was like. <laughs> <laughs> I remember these. And then she's those. like, what's that? I'm like, it's a nipple. And she's like, nipple. <laughs> and like you could but tell. she didn't and, go for it. No, she didn't. But you could tell. She was like, you ho. <laughs> How I forgot all you? about these and you just took them away. And I'm like, now they're empty. They're dry. Sorry. So, yeah. Yeah, that's it. I was, and that was big at the time. Yeah. That's one of those things I was going to text you, but I didn't. Yeah. I love that. Were, I think you did text me that. Did I? You did. Mm, you FaceTimed me or something. No, I don't think so. You somethinged me. Jake called and I just mentioned it to him because I was excited. He was like, did you tell Irene? I was like, no, because I was like, I don't want to bug her. No, you did. What? You called me. Pretty sure you called me. I have no memories. <laughs> That's something uh, I'm trying to work on is yeah. I have, and I know I'm speaking it over myself, whatever, but I have really bad memories. There's like speaking bad it over memory. yourself, but then there's fact. And yeah. if the fact is you don't remember, it's not like you're saying I will never have a good memory. Yeah. I'm trying, like I need to figure out what the heck that is is it mold exposures or whatever mm-hmm. but all right your turn are you a person i'm a person are you a person that breathes yeah then you probably have a worm in your booty oh if you have a pulse you have a parasite yeah. so and it's not because you're dirty and it's not because you're gross and you can wash your hands 75 even, times a day even if you haven't been to a third world country you're gonna get worms yep. so Everybody go has to uh, rogershead.com and use the code utsp10 you'll get 10 percent off of this kit it's a beautifully packaged kit it has everything you need for a 30-day cleanse to get those worms out of you. Have you ever taken any, like, nootropics? What the honey is that? Like a brain stack? No. But you have to find... I have body bio something, brain something. Um, you have to find one that works for your brain type, I guess, because there's there's one um, from on it that works great. It, like, makes my brain just fire on hmm. all cylinders. And for whatever reason... It makes Jacob, my husband, like, like he gets like ragey almost. And he's not, he's the most even keeled. He, on a documentary this past spring, accidentally flew his drone into barbed wire, like his drone that he has one drone of and was just like, whatever. And everyone with him was like, oh my, your drone. And he's like, whatever. Yeah. But like, it was making him like weirdly just mm-hmm. irritable. And he's like, couldn't explain it other than like rage. Mm. But he has one that like lights up his brain and just makes him focus. And like all of the 15 thoughts focus into one and he can go for it. When I took that one, I I, like legit had a full panic attack. Send me some links. I couldn't breathe. My like brain was spinning. I felt like I was drugged. Mm. So you have to like, it's hard to experiment with them. Do you remember when you and Dave were drugged in the airport? We definitely were drugged in an airport. Which is, I'm just going to tell that story so people aren't like, what? I'm so, because I'm so nosy. If someone said that and let it go, I would be so annoyed. Um, <laughs> I was just going to leave it there. <laughs> just to bug people. We were Can on. There's no coffee in here. <laughs> Son of a bitch. We were on our way back from the cruise and there was a Starbucks in the Miami airport and everybody got coffee. Dave got a hot coffee and I got a cold brew. So like different means of, it's not like we all got a latte. So mm-hmm. maybe there was something in the espresso. Like, no, mine was cold brew pre-made. His was like a hot, I think his was hot Americano. So Mm -hmm. espresso shots. And I, for me to not drink a Starbucks is a big deal. Like a big deal for one. They're like $7. And I think it was $8 because it was an airport. airport. So it's like $35. It might've been, I think it was, might've been eight or $9, but for two, like it's Starbucks coffee and that's still my jam. So, Mm -hmm. and it's my exact order and I got it. And I was like, this tastes a little weird. And then I thought they just made it wrong. Because sometimes if you get the cold foam, they like put they every once in a while, they will just froth the milk and forget to put the syrup in. And then it's just like frothy, gross milk. So um, I took it back. I was like, hey, I'm so sorry. I don't want to be this person. But like, can or it just tasted off. Something tasted weird. So I was like, can I just like swap this out for um, the same thing, but like a different flavoring thinking like, well, maybe the syrup was off or something Mm -hmm. just tasted off. 
So they did swap it out and it wasn't something similar. It was like the salted caramel to like a peppermint mocha, like a big jump in flavor. Mm -hmm. So I got the new one. It tasted okay, but I drank this much of it and like my head just started spinning and I had like weird tunnel vision. Definitely felt like I was drugged, but I was like, maybe it's just tastes weird and I'm psycho sim what is it psycho mm -hmm. semantic or whatever it's called Somatic. but um yeah felt so weird and then we got these nachos that we all should have shared but we each got oh, this man. nacho plate that was like an appetizer mm -hmm. for a family of 45 and so i like Delightful. ate and felt a little bit better and some i don't know how it got brought up at the table but dave was like oh did you feel like this 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 and this I was like yeah he said okay i felt it too i thought maybe i was just like over exhausted or something definitely like that think we were drugged yeah in the miami airport Yep. And if like, I Dave's had, not like, Dave is sensitive not sensitive like that. No. I mean, neither and are I you. I have enough, what I saw a meme the other day that said something about having enough caffeine to tranquilize a horse, and I laughed out loud. So, like, mm -hmm. it's not that their caffeine was stronger. So, yeah. No, that wouldn't, something. That wouldn't, that wouldn't take you down. And, like, I didn't drink the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Again, I drank this much of like, and you a venti, never finished it. Never finished it. Dumped it out. Yeah. Should have kept the cup. Oh, and. So on that airport, this is gonna be a long story, extra long. <laughs> we had the kids stroller. I had my Starbucks in the cup of the stroller and our flights got delayed. So we ended up having to spend the night in an airport, in the airport oh, hotel. Yeah, I forgot about that. The next day. I felt so bad leaving you guys. It, it, feels, it was fine. We but were like, good. What, like, what are we supposed to do? Nothing. Pay Go on money your flight. to like oh, yeah, move it was, our flight? Like, cause we can't no. move our flight without paying. But no, like, it feels really us. weird to like leave your family yeah. in the airport. Yeah. That feels weird. No, we were fine. We had a hotel and it was great. Yeah. But um, the next day we get to security. We check in. They have to take the stroller through the stroller Oh, I forgot thing. about this. And then um, it's me and the kids because Jacob got held back we have tsa pre-check and they still were like sir we need you to take off your belt and your shoes and we need to check you so i was like bye sucker and the kids and i went through well they took the stroller and he goes ma'am i need to pull your stroller aside for a minute and he goes why don't you come stand over here then he said the kids can stand over here with my friend and i just looked at him i don't know what my face said because my face is like i have like a resting smile face mm -hmm. but my face was enough that it took like, in like two seconds he goes the kids can stay with you and i just like shook my head like yeah the yeah, kids like are gonna stay try. with me this is miami are you insane yeah um so anyways the kids and i are over to the side and they're like drug testing the stroller so because i don't it spilled, have didn't it spill? actual it did spill a little i don't have actual proof that i was drugged and they still let us have our stroller back after they like searched it in and out but my stroller got flagged and I swear I felt like I was drugged. It was the weirdest feeling I've ever experienced. All that to say, sometimes the brain pills can make you feel a little mild version of that Send if you me take a link. the wrong one. I'm curious. I want to okay. I need something. Okay. Side note to that. Side note. <laughs> <laughs> I learned this shirt thing. of that. Side, side note to that. Side <laughs> note. <laughs> That's the shirt. Yes. Would you guys buy it? Because and just we doing gotta a start making money asked. off this podcast because oh, it's not a lot of work. People have asked for just doing our best shirts, so okay. we should do. What if we just did two those shirts? Two. Okay, <gasps> with our faces. Just side note to best. that side note. Maybe doing this, <laughs> like not cute. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. I've always thought I had dyslexia. I've never been diagnosed, but like I definitely have. I think some self like social media induced ADD. Okay. Like if I. This is like a part of my next point. So maybe it all ties together and it's there not that much of a side note. Is that, so I like, I took July off of social media. Yeah. Besides, like little bits here and there, I know. It wasn't completely, because, yeah. you know, Trump did, our former president did almost get assassinated. Yeah. And so like I, I needed to be in that point of history. I'm like, yeah. nope, I want to yeah. watch. Cause yeah. I, I used to hate politics. I still hate politics. But like in order for my family to not be taken over by communists i need to make sure i'm educated anyways mm -hmm. i just go for the memes so carry on <laughs> yeah but anyways all that being said i watched a U uh, instagram video and like i almost scrolled past it but the lady was like i don't know where i saw this on the internet she was like but thank you you changed my life because she was like i when i read or do anything i have like eight tabs open in my brain as I'm reading and I was like oh that's me like when I'm really? reading I'm, it could be like once upon a time there was and I'm like son of a gun I forgot to get milk at the mm -hmm. store like you know like mm -hmm. whatever and then it's like did Dave actually order those new underwear I don't think he did did we throw away the ones that are ripped and then mm -hmm. it's like my brain's still scanning it's just like on. it's like it's on like a okay. different level and so I'm not but I'm not retaining but I'm still reading while listening to these other tabs yeah it's hella complicated in my mind she was like whoever said to go to your back brain hmm she said, literally think 
I'm gonna think like I'm gonna think with my back brain and like she's like if you need to like tap the back of your head. I know it sounds woo woo dilly, but like <laughs> <laughs> not like woo woo you're t- <laughs> I've never said the term woo woo dilly before. Why did that come out? <laughs> oh man. I'm trying to be serious. Okay. I, I have said, the humor of a twelve year old boy. Carry on. <laughs> Uh, okay bring it back now y'all um she like tap the back of your brain and say like i'm thinking with my back brain i have read like 13 chapters of a book good and i've read uh uh all of i'm like 15 chapters into matthew and usually it's so hard for me to read the bible because yeah it's it's something i'm praying about to try to get like hey like help me be interested in this like help me like want to discern what these things mean yeah um but like i did i just think with your back brain and it's freaking awesome. All Good. of those tabs like close. Yeah. That's I've awesome. I've never had that before. I don't know how much I'm I'm actually retaining, working. but like yeah. I can actually like in the moment retain, remember. Yeah. And like enjoy myself. Yeah. So that all being said, <laughs> I was off social media for the most part in July. Mm-hmm. Occasionally I'd like pop on to post something or um because like it wasn't that I didn't I was off to not post. I was off because I have a scrolling problem. Like I, yeah. I I'll go like, you know, sit down to go to the bathroom. I'm like, oh, I deserve to scroll yeah. for a little bit. And I used it as like a dopamine hit. And yeah. so like, and a distraction. I just have like a content consumption problem. Yeah. So I just like drastically reduce, like almost no Instagram. Yeah. Drastically reduce for me. And then um, only videos that were educational for the ones of July. And it was Good. awesome. And I highly recommend it. That's People awesome. should do it. Yeah. That's Cause awesome. it's like, I think in this age of being just a mom or a parent, yeah. Like everything is demanding your attention. And at some point you're just like, you're drawn to the dopamine hit. I'm like, I'd rather look at my kid's eyeballs. Yeah. Take her for a walk outside. Do something slower. I just, I'm trying to live slower yeah. in general and not so like hustle culture. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So that's yeah. it. That's awesome. Tied it back around, folks. There you go. And I'm going to spin it out by saying yesterday we went to watch Deadpool because, again, humor of a 12 year old boy. And it was hilarious. And that reminded me that one time we, took Ilea to see one of the Deadpools, but we didn't tell her what we were watching. We just said, come to the movies with us. It'll be fun. And she did laugh. So there, on the record, Ilea laughed at a I Deadpool. I have no memory of that. <laughs> I have a memory of you guys taking me to It. Oh, yeah. I tried to take you to the second one. It didn't work. I would I would leave at that point. Like, I would go sit in the lobby and be like, great that you paid for it. I'm going to sit in the lobby. That sh- that haunted me for did like... Did it really? Months. Yeah. Like, I... Like I it, I, I hate scary movies. I yeah. just can't do it anymore. Do you mind my eyes? Um, that one, but you think you got it? Oh, that is a bonus point because we weren't sure. We weren't sure if we were going to be long winded. Not us. <laughs> Who us? But so we wrote down three. We wrote down four things thinking if we run out of time, we're going to do three. But I'm just going to go on to four. Yeah. Is that I switched from the Tarte tinted moisturizer that I've been wearing okay. for like ever because mm-hmm. I don't like a full foundation. I just like a tinted moisturizer. But um, I'm trying to pull away from aluminum. Mm-hmm. So then I tried the Ilia because I like yeah. hair and like, cleans it. But then I read the package after I already purchased it. And it also has aluminum. So what? I'm like, well, here I go. So after I use this bottle, which I'm still debating taking it back because I wasn't sure. They have Tarts has three colors. So they have light, medium, and dark. And it just blends in. This one has like tailored to your color, like light, warm, neutral, cool, light too, warm. And it's like, what if I get the wrong thing and I end up orange? Um, so she said, that's why I can't there find is a online. Great, yeah. So and hard. I was in the store, but the lighting is horrible because they want you to buy more things. I mean, um, like, oh, you're ugly. Buy more stuff. Yeah. But um, she said like, whatever, however long, like there's just, you can always bring it back if you get the wrong color. The return policy is basically anytime, any day, hmm. whatever, as long as you have your what receipt, is? Sephora. And um, I'm still debating taking it back because of the aluminum. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Sorry, I was going to get... I, I've been very sweary yeah. today. Sorry, guys. Um, But it's... I like the way it makes my skin look, but it's like so dewy that it like doesn't. I thought you were extra dewy, but I thought it was maybe because we were sweating. No, it sits on the skin. It like doesn't absorb. So I put it Mm -hmm. on forever ago and I can put it on in the morning. And by the end of the day, if I do this, there's like a grease stain on my face, which I don't Mm -hmm. love. And I thought I would love it because it's cleaner and there's still aluminum in it. So 
That freaking sucks. We need to do... So if you can think of a tinted moisturizer... Adele that Cosmetics. Comes off. Can we try that? Oh, no. AD... I've tried Ardell, which is e an eyelash glue that we use for weddings a lot. I've never thinking. tried it, but a lot of podcasters, yeah. I like, recommend it, and they say it's all natural. But then again, when people say all natural, I'm like... Are you well, sure? so is Ilya. It's like clean yeah. beauty stamped, all natural mm -hmm. ingredients, but... Boo! So okay. I think I'm just going to go all that to say back to Tarte because it has aluminum, but at least it's not going to like grease off everywhere. All I'm going to make an Adele because like, I'm literally out of all of the makeup. Yeah. So I'm going to make an order if you want to tag Oh, yes, I do. Maybe we just combo shipping. Yeah. Tip for the day. Don't pay double shipping. Yep. Mm -hmm. My uh, final. Well, it's technically it was number three, but I yeah. I rearranged things. But is that I did Parasite Cleanse. Oh, and yeah. Tell them all about it. Here's the thing. I did the Parify Kit which Rogers Hood, we're affiliates with them. So use UTSB 10 yes. to get 10% off your order. 15? UPS? 10. UPS 10. UPS Sorry. Whoa. Yeah. UPSP, UPSP 10. <laughs> no, that's not. It's not. U, U under UTSP. 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 It's like not US. Do not. USPS. It, hello. <laughs> US Postal Service. Yeah. 10. No. U no. U under the T S, S P. What was I saying? 10. UPS. UPST, I think you were saying. UTS. I should have been using my back brain. <laughs> <laughs> Not feasible. We will post it below Dyslexic. just in case we've confused yes. the heck So of I you. did that um, and I was feeling like really icky. And I know people are going to get weird about this. I'm going to do a whole podcast on it where Irene's going to hate it all. Well, actually, you're you're not. No. You're not. Literally, I talked about toenails and I know I can ruin your day in two seconds. So but what's on. funny is, okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Is that like, I was feeling really icky. Yeah. And like, for me, when I do parasite cleanses, it really Fs with my brain. Mm -hmm. And like I get super pessimistic and like, woe yeah. is me. Like my life sucks, which is not true. And it's not like me. I'm not yeah. typically a negative person like that. Yeah. And the only way I can get out of it on a parasite cleanse is either wait for the worm to pass, which, you know, it usually messes with your digestion a little yeah. bit. And like either like a little constipated, a little runny, whatever. Um, I just do coffee enemas. Mm -hmm. And it like... It immediately, like, I don't feel bad. So that being said, I used a little chapstick and did a little, okay. like, digging through the coffee. And I know it's so gross, guys. I, I know. Mean, I know. But I have to, like, have that gratification that, like, it's working. Cause I yeah. Need to, I got, like, we recommended this people to this, this to yeah. people. I want to make sure yeah. it's doing the job. I mean, I had literally a tapeworm come out the first day. So I did not have to mm -hmm. wonder. I didn't have to wait three weeks to see, is, like, see if it's working. Yep. There was a worm. Yeah, and an exact. I so. could tell it was working. <clears throat> I just yeah. I like, <clears throat> I wanted to see the worms come out. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. like I need. I've had that with other parasite cleanses. I just want to make sure. Yeah. So like, anyways, coffee enema. I had at least. I have photos on my phone. If you want to send me a message, I will absolutely send you the photo yeah. of like ten inch worms mm -hmm. that were like really stringy. I should have. What was what was the name? Kim sent me the list of. Yeah, it's on her. Um, website there's a lit there's like a frequently asked questions yeah. and you can find a graphic of what the worms were yeah so I had like a whole bunch of egg sacs mm -hmm. um a whole bunch of flukes and then like the long tapeworms and a lot of biofilms yeah so like it does work mm -hmm. <laughs> it is effective um and yeah that's my update if you want more yeah content maybe we should do like i want to do a whole coffee the health benefits of coffee enemas yeah for, and I know people get so gross out. They're like, ooh, boot stuff. I'm like, it's not butt stuff, guys. <laughs> and I will say just go to colonics if you don't want to deal with it yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I am, would rather, I personally would rather just pay to go to a colonic and then you have alone time for an hour to just chill. Mm -hmm. And then it comes all out. See, I just turn on Little Bear and I'm like, I'm going to go do a coffee animal. Yeah. Because then it takes it takes a half hour. It's I, cheap Does it for me. Can you actually like check out and relax though because i would feel so stressed that like i'm home and my kids are doing stuff and i should be doing stuff that i can't just be in the bathroom by myself no but if i go somewhere to a colonic place then i'm just like sorry i can't do anything that's if you I mean, need you a work granola bar open ask someone else yeah i mean but we i would like, we'll pop in and like yeah and whatever and yeah. she's like she kind of like looks like what are you doing i'm like yeah. this is just this is life like <laughs> i i didn't ask for this i would never have thought 10 years ago i'd be shoving a tube up my butt to get i found a picture on my facebook time hop thing it was a picture of a chicken foot sticking out of a crock pot <sighs> from me making bone broth yeah. and um do you want your chicken feet by the way yes i do okay and the caption was 
you had commented on it. Girl, under, I'm not the same person. It I was used so to be. funny. I guess I think I screenshot it. To, I could post it in stories, mm-hmm. but it was just a really funny comment that was like, "Well, well, well, how the turntables." It's like something about how like you draw the line at feet and now yeah. you're butchering your own birds. So yep, and now my like free deep freeze is filled with chicken feet, yeah. and like I have bone broth in there right now. It's just yeah. never say never. Guys. I said I was never moving back to the Midwest, and I married someone who lives exactly there. So yeah, don't mm-hmm. do it. Who knows? We probably might not be here forever. Let's go. I'll believe it when I see it. I know. <laughs> I know. I just have to like think it. Uh. It definitely isn't forever. Yeah. It's more of a, it's really expensive to move. Yes. And then find a new place, new down payment for house, like all these yeah. things. Um, but like, I also don't want to live in a state of not grateful for what God has given yeah. us now. Because yeah. if I let history keep repeating itself where I'm like, mm, our apartment's too small or like this yeah. house is just, over, like if I keep doing that, I never am actually grateful for what, like, yeah. what we do have. Yeah. So. Anyways, that was a different tangent, but yeah, yeah, worms, yes, worms, trains, and butt stuff. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> then you should go watch Deadpool. <laughs> what does that mean? That's like every. I had a client today asking if she should go watch Deadpool. I was like, it depends on your tolerance of very inappropriate jokes. She's like, well, I'm not easily offended. I was like, okay, a lot of the jokes in this most recent, well, it, they don't show anything, but they like say the word butt stuff and anal a lot so it's not great it's not a great it's a terrible movie did your kids go with you no of course not oh, it okay. is definitely rated r oh okay so we left him with grandma and went nice and laughed our butts off it was great. oh good on yeah. a date night yeah it's fun i was gonna see if y'all I, wanted to come uh, over and eat some food with us that's why i called oh, you oh yeah no i took chipotle in okay chipotle so let's do another side life. tangent okay so i'm was born in the 90s so i was in the big bag craze and now all of you, Jen, whoever's, have ruined my ability to smuggle food into what are you talking the about? The theater. How am I supposed to smuggle food in the theater when they, everyone's wearing Berkeley bags or whatever they're called? Because like, remember what the, the hell day? Is a Berkeley do you bag? remember? I don't know. I think I'm probably saying the wrong bag because I'm old. But do you remember the days when everyone had like basically a suitcase on their shoulder? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I could go in to the theater with Buffalo Wild Wings or my entire Chipotle order, and no one's thinking twice. Now you go to the movies, everyone has these little tiny crossbody fanny pack things. And I came in with like my suitcase bag. And I'm like, everyone clearly knows what I'm doing. But I marched in proudly and then plopped open my Chipotle and ate, him, ate it while I watched a movie. That's confident so. no one will question you. That's right. all you got to know. Like, yeah, that's. But also like, you know what I'm doing. Yeah. Big bags are completely out of style. Yeah. Okay. Side tangent to that side tangent is that. Do you remember like in 2020 when people were like, like, oh, you have to wear a mask to be in mm-hmm. Target. Like, it's the perk of being big. Because someone the other day was like, well, how did you, like, how did they let you in? Yeah. Like, we were just talking about, like, the tyranny. And they're like, we didn't see it as tyranny then. And, like, now they're like, I, I think I had turned them via my Instagram, uh-huh. my obnoxious Instagrams. Um, but they're like, what do you mean you just went into Target? It's like, you just do just it. Go in. You just do it. And they're like, but they told you no. I'm like, boo-hoo. <laughs> like, what are they going to do? Yeah. Like, you can't. Like, yeah. no. You just walk in and just do it. And they're yeah. like, oh. Okay. And I'm like, yeah, "Yeah, it's okay to like be uncomfortable because like, you know, what's right. Anyways, the best part was when I was like 150 months pregnant and I would walk in, I'm not going to impede my oxygen. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I'm not scared of this thing. Mm -hmm. And I would walk in and if someone like tried to look at me, I just gave them the face of like, I am the size of a beluga whale. Please tell me something, (laughs) please. (laughs) And wait for me to call Ilya so I can lose it. (laughs) I'll come in with my big bag and be like, I have lots of weapons in here. Get out of here. Talk to my friend. Ily is just waiting for the day that I actually like lose it and beat someone over the head with my shoe. It's going to be great. It's almost happened a handful of times, but. I know. And usually you call me after like, you you almost missed it. And I'm like, why didn't you text me? I could have at least like just tipped you over the edge. Just being like, did you see what she just said? Get her. Yeah. (laughs) You need a hype woman for that. Yes, I do. Guys, we haven't talked in a long time. Fifty-six minutes. We were like, guys, keep it to a half hour. Yeah, like, well, are we gonna have enough to talk about? Why of do we course. always think that? We wrote down four points instead of three, oh, just guys. in case. But this is fun. It we is fun. I hope you guys like these, just like chit chats. Like yeah. we want to balance, you know, information and also conversation. Yeah, and I don't know. Yeah, chill, I guess. But there, there is some housekeeping though we need yes. to address yes we are switching to uploads on wednesday because i 
I mean, if the last year and a half hasn't told me anything is that I don't plan in advance and I don't edit until the night before I post because I just have a lot of other things going on. And so I have found that editing Sunday night to get it out Monday or like waking up super early, throwing my kid in front of the TV to edit Monday to get it out like Monday afternoon. It's just, <laughs> it's not, and I hate the term. It's not serving me. It's not, yeah. it's not serving my family because I can't have a weekend with my family. It's yeah. like, what you know, is I'm, a weekend? What? It's from Downton Abbey. I, I've she's never like, seen never it. had a weekend because she's rich. So oh. she can't grasp. Oh, yeah. You don't work on the weekend. Except for like, oh, I, weekend. I manage my life like in like the meal prep sense. Yeah. So, like I, we do a lot of time blocking around our house. I just haven't managed it well with the podcast. I know it's it's all me problem. I'm fully admitting that like yeah. I'm delaying it. So like if it's Wednesday, I can be like, hey, Wednesday, not Wednesday, Tuesday is my podcast editing day. Yeah. That way it doesn't. You're not it, trying to meal prep and podcast and yeah. fix a fence. Yeah. Because Sundays are my like I'm prepping for the week so that I don't have to be frazzled all week long. Yeah. And I just want to like have the opportunity because and usually Dave podcasts Sunday night, the guys podcast mm-hmm. Sunday night. And then I'm like trying to do bedtime birds, food, ha- like do what I can to help with like them podcasting yeah. and then also trying to edit a podcast. It yeah. just doesn't working anymore. So yeah. Wednesdays, someday, maybe Sunday, maybe we'll go to like Wednesdays and Saturdays. I don't know. We'll yeah. do, but I'll maybe when I can hire somebody else to edit it. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. Why am I so sweaty? Because <laughs> you're wearing a sweatshirt in the middle of a muggy summer. I just wanted Michael Scott to be with me. <laughs> That's all I wanted. All right. Was there anything else? Any other housekeeping? Not that I can I, think I, of. I feel like I wrote something else down. Oh, any podcast recommendations? Because yes, we're, we just always want your thoughts and like crit, like critiques. What do you guys want with yeah. the podcast? Because, you know, we are here to help and guide you. We yeah. have a bunch of great stuff coming up, but any recommendations you have also guests like who do you follow on instagram that you're like i love yeah their take on sugar or like something like what, yeah. whatever niche or like homeopathy or positive motherhood whatever it is yeah. let us know yeah and we'll reach out and see if they want to come on the podcast uh also did you see that comment from someone as we're about to wrap up that said uh please don't ever stop saying bye <gasps> oh, it was I don't no. know if I screenshot that and sent it to you or not. And I can't remember if it was Instagram or YouTube. So whoever said that, thank you. It was so sweet. Also, uh, like, if you ever feel like, oh, like, don't send them a message because, like, they don't care if, like, I listen, whatever. Mm-hmm. Message us because we need, like, we need that dopamine hit of, like, that there are actually people out there listening. You yeah. know, that, like. We are terrible at responding. So if are. we don't respond, it's not because we hate you or what you said. We just will either open it and think, oh, I'll respond in a second. And you know how that goes when you have children. Yeah. Or we just are on Instagram breaks and aren't checking it as often. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we do I see usually, your messages. I do try to, um, when people message, I haven't been on social media this, yeah. this past month, but yeah. like I'll re- respond with a video message right then and there. Because like to yeah. me, writing something out and not, it just, it sound, feels like so much more work. Yeah. So I'm just like, hey, here's a video of me looking like a trash that bag by so my sink. funny. This is how you do it. Oh, and I try to tell them like, hey, it's me because like, I don't know if they care which one of us it is. No, but I, don't I feel think so. like I'm more like exclamation pointy and mm-hmm. like bubbly and something. So I don't want them to be like, what? they could probably tell because personality, like our personalities, but like, yeah. Okay. Do you remember like a long time ago? Hang with me. Somebody messaged us. And I don't remember which account. And it's probably mm-hmm. like far back. Um, I mentioned like lip ties, cheek ties, tongue ties being okay. connected to like a mineral deficiency. Okay. And they were like, where did you hear that? Because I need to know because like all my kids. Yeah. Have lip ties. Okay. Okay. Um, I, there's a pot, not podcast, a YouTuber named fertility homeopath. I love her okay. account. Like that's how I learned how the female cycle works is from her account. She's awesome. We should do an episode on that and have her yeah. on. I, I want okay. her on. She's awesome. Yeah. But she talked about, um, there's an episode on her YouTube channel. I'll link it in the description. It's how to have better egg quality in just three cycles. Because nice. I'm, I'm trying to make sure like as I prep my body, yeah. even though I, and not, we're not having a baby in three cycles, I want to just like, would you knock it off? I'm not ovulating, so it doesn't sound interesting <laughs> right now. <laughs> but um, she mentions it in there. Of course, my freaking, uh, she connects it to a folate deficiency and like having too much folic acid versus folate that's what's connected yeah. to having a lip tie, cheek tie, tongue tie. So mm. go listen to that. 
because she's awesome and she's like she has had like hundreds of people help them get pregnant that's and awesome. so like anybody who's having trouble conceiving she's like yeah. hey here's a heavy metal detox yeah. let's blah, blah 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 also i don't know if this is kind of on that topic because i know we've had some people ask about it too i i don't know i have not done the research for no non mtfhr gene oh but yeah. i don't think anybody should be taking i know you're not oh, supposed no. to take folic acid if you have the gene but I don't think anybody you should be taking, should be taking folic acid, even oh. if you don't have the gene because it's synthetic. So the yeah. body might be able to like push it out, but it's not utilizing it. Yeah. So the body see it as a foreign body and I'll no. probably put it in a biofilm and just store it away yeah. somewhere and probably just leach into your system in not a positive fashion. Mm -hmm. So in case you don't know, folate, your, your kid needs folate as your, especially as mm -hmm. you're pregnant, you need it in general, but like. It helps prevent spina bifida, mm -hmm. um, helps with like brain development. Folate is the natural form that you need to take. Mm -hmm. your, your prenatal needs to have folate. Um, it folate usually says methylated, methylated folate. folate. Yep. So if you're looking and you don't know, just yeah. look for the word that methyl, starts with an methyl, M. Methylfolate, yeah. yeah. Um, and then folic acid is made in the lab and it's synthetic and yeah. nothing about it is real and the body doesn't know what to do with it. Yeah. So There is a mineral, a trace mineral brand that I like and... Um, one of the brands has zeolites, which now I know is aluminum. The other brand has this like bulk 10,000 milligrams of vitamin C plus the trace mineral, mm -hmm. like a, an emergency, but like a good one. So I thought, and so I grabbed it and didn't realize it had folic acid. I'm like, why would you put folic acid? You're a brand that's all about trace minerals. That's going to leach all the minerals out of my system. But yeah. also Read your labels and don't buy it before you read it. And don't just assume that a brand is trustworthy because you've trusted them in the past. I know. So. It's such a mess. And like, also, you should double check anything we recommend. Too yeah. Because like Things something changed. could have changed because mm, there's an account, whatever. Somebody recommended it. And I was like, oh, this is a B complex powder or whatever. And I like, I didn't think about it. They recommended it. I just ordered it on Amazon because I, I was like, oh, I want to order this before I forget. Yeah. And I like trusted what they said and it got, it got to us and it had um, like natural flavors. And I'm like, I don't, yeah. I don't want natural flavors. Like that has, that could have up to like 900 or something yeah. different chemicals. It doesn't, like, yeah. just because the other ingredients are organic. Like it's not yeah. organic natural flavor. Like I, or even if a company got, <sighs> gets bought out, I still check the labels on stuff, especially yeah. now that people are doing gluten-free wheat. Like I am allergic to wheat, not gl gluten, but like I'm allergic to wheat. So I can't even go to the store and assume that gluten-free is good. I habitually flip it over anyways, but like, that's, I don't know. And I so do with supplements too. I just grabbed that one quickly because I trusted the minerals. Mm -hmm. And the minerals don't have folic acid in them. It's just minerals, but yeah. Read your labels and don't trust anybody. <laughs> that's that's our motto. That's the next shirt. Yes. Read your labels and don't trust anybody. Yes. I like that. Those Me are good too. shirts. What was the other shirt? Side note. Side these. note. <laughs> Side note to that side note. <laughs> All right. Any finding, fighting thoughts? Any final thoughts? Yes, but that's the next podcast. <laughs> okay. We have to end. Yes, we do. An hour, Irene. Okay. No we, regrets. We will see you guys next Wednesday. Yes. Not Monday. Yes. Wednesday. Yes. Please keep listening even though we switch days. That's my fear is that we'll switch no, and nobody will listen. No. People will listen. I'll post it on Instagram too just in case someone doesn't listen to the podcast. And we'll need to like be diligent on Monday to post like, hey, don't forget we switched to posting on yes. Wednesdays. Yeah. Because Leah's a mess. <laughs> Because so, Leah needs a weekend with her family. Yeah, because if I don't, then like every single moment is always packed with either doing something yeah. like family birthday party, clean. a house project. Yep, it's so. all like this. Trust me, our fixer upper has is not lacking anything, and like I could, I could fill up every single moment of every day. Yeah, and sometimes we do, but like I found that my uh, temper, like everything about me, is nicer if I have like, hey, I'm taking a Sabbath on Sunday. Yeah, or like. Uh, half Sabbath Saturday, half Sabbath Sunday. Yeah. To where like I can watch Good More Girls on the couch. And, Good like, for you. Eat a snack. Like that's how I recharge. Like yeah. I don't recharge. Like Dave loves like checking things off the list. I'm like, Good for you. If I don't have some time of a little like, yeah. I don't even care if like me and Leo are just sitting being potatoes. Yeah. I need to be a potato. Good. To spud. <laughs> to to <laughs> sprout. I need to be. Yes something i'm a potato <laughs> <laughs> okay we will see you next wednesday yay goodbye bye have a good day <laughs> good day bye thanks for being with us today follow us on instagram at under the sun underscore podcast we'd love to meet you 
Please help us out by subscribing on YouTube and leaving a review on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. We'll see you next time. Please remember this information is made available to you for informational and educational purposes only. It is in no way a substitute for medical advice.